What do you think you're doing, Leo? Drinking chocolate milk? With a plastic straw? Am I the only one in this family who cares about the environment? Paper straws don't. It's not about straws. It's about the environment. And I don't think you and mom and dad are worried enough about global warming and fighting climate change. You're just mad dad shot down your idea to put solar panels on the roof. He wouldn't even listen to me. He did listen, but you didn't have any good reasons. His brother is an environmental scientist. And like he told you, Uncle Will said those solar panels do more harm than good. I know, but it's really hard for me to believe. I hear so much about being green, I just want to do what's best for the environment. Can we use the History app and meet up with Uncle Will? He'll be able to clear things up about environmental stuff for you. That's not a bad idea. I don't think the History app will work, but I've been meaning to try this travel app. But on the way, we need to stop in Central Africa. I want you to meet this girl I read about in a PragerU digital magazine. Her name is Naya, and nobody in her village has electricity. I want to see if she'll come with us to talk to Uncle Will. Okay, sounds good. All right, this is Central Africa. And there she is. It's Naya. Hi, can I help you? Hi, Naya. I'm Leo, and this is my sister, Layla. Uh, how do you know my name? We're from America. I read about you and your family in a PragerU digital magazine. Okay. See, we have this app on our phone. Layla, she might not know what a cell phone is. Hey, this is Africa, not Mars. My parents actually have a phone. We can't use it here in the village. There's no electricity or cell service, but we go visit my family in the capital pretty often and use it there. This is why we've come to find you. My brother told me how you and your cousins are pretty much like us and have similar hopes and dreams, but that without reliable energy or any electricity at all, well, it makes your lives harder than they should be. I love living here in the village. It is peaceful and beautiful, and we even have gorillas in our forest nearby, but you are correct. Life would be better with electricity. Better for health, better for education, everything. I read about how it takes you hours and hours to do things that we do with the flip of a switch. That is why my cousin Joseph is in college studying to be a scientist. He wants to help bring electricity to African villages like mine and improve electricity in the towns and cities where they have some energy, but it doesn't work often and it's very expensive. So our uncle Will is an energy expert. He's written books about all the different ways energy is created. And I want to talk to him about solar and wind energy. I thought you and Joseph could come with us. Well, Joseph is busy with classes off at his university, but I'm free. I've collected enough water and gathered enough food for now. I can go with you and tell Joseph what I learned. I just need to be home before dark. I have my evening chores. Just curious, how long do your chores take you each day? Not too bad, about three hours in the morning and two in the evening. I have to bring water, collect and chop wood, wash clothes and help my mom make meals. Wow, no washer and dryer for laundry? No dishwasher? Nope. No fridge, no stove, no air conditioning, no heater. Let's go find Uncle Will. Whee! That was a wild ride. Yeah, it's fun, huh? Leo, Layla, is that you? What are you doing here? Hey, Uncle Will. We brought our friend Naya to meet you. She lives in Central Africa, and her village doesn't have electricity. Hello, sir. I hear you are an energy expert. I would like to gather information from you and take new knowledge back to my family and community. I think I can help. I'm an environmental scientist and I've written lots of books about different energy sources. We need to know which energy source is the best so that Naya's life can be better. Let's start by sorting the different ways to produce energy into two groups, reliable energy and unreliable energy. One group already sounds bad. You've got to be able to count on things when they're needed. I don't like anything that's unreliable. Reliable energy comes from coal, natural gas, and nuclear power plants. Each of these takes a natural resource from the earth and can create energy for people to use around the clock, year round. That's why we say they're reliable, because they can always be counted on. It's also nice that they're not too expensive. So which energy sources are known as unreliable? Those would be solar power from the sun and energy produced from windmills. They are unreliable because they only can make energy when nature cooperates. There's no sun at night, and not every day is sunny. Where I live, even on sunny days, most mornings are foggy and misty. Does your village get a lot of wind? Not really. 
Sometimes we have very nice, pleasant breeze, but it is very rarely windy. But Uncle Will, wind and solar are renewable forms of energy. Even if they're limited, we're not going to run out of them, and they don't harm the environment. Not so fast, Missy. It's true sun rays and wind don't harm the environment. The solar panels, windmills, and the batteries needed for these types of energy are all made from materials that have to be mined from the earth, cannot be recycled, and become hazardous waste. No one ever likes to talk about that. I just hear that solar and wind are the way to save the planet. Unfortunately, many of the people who talk about how great they are for the environment give misleading information and leave out very important facts. Like what? For starters, even when the sun shines bright and windmills spin fast, wind and solar just aren't powerful enough to power the modern world. The energy from them just isn't dense and robust enough. Places that have invested billions of dollars on wind and solar still have to use reliable sources for most of their power. Sounds like a giant waste. Maybe those places want to be green, Leo. Maybe they want to set a good example. What was that? Was that a bird? Ew, gross. Did that bird just get killed by a windmill? Yes, it did. Like many people, Layla, you've been misled about renewable energy and their impact on the environment. I never thought about windmills killing birds. Windmills kill so many birds, it's hard to track how many. But that's just the start of how negative wind and solar are for our natural environment. Look around, does this look natural to you? Wind farms and solar farms disrupt huge amounts of natural habitat causing harm to plants and animals. I never thought about how much space they take up. And the materials needed to create windmills, solar panels, and the batteries required to store these forms of energy have to be dug up and taken from the earth. So wind power and solar power require mining of natural resources similar to coal and natural gas, but the power created is less powerful and can't be relied on? Hmm. Hmm is right. And young lady, it gets worse. Because windmills and solar panels can't be recycled once they wear out, and they all do, they just end up in giant metal trash heaps. Some European countries claim to be helping your homeland by donating their used solar panels to Africa. They then quickly wear out, and Africans are left with nothing but mounds of useless metal and wires. That's really messed up. I do not want any more wind or solar energy coming to Africa. We need reliable energy, and we need to maintain as much of our beautiful nature as possible. Uncle Will, is there an energy source that is best for Africa? There certainly is. Let me see that traveling contraption of yours. Hey, what a ride. Is that a nuclear power plant? My cousin has told me that they might be the best option for Africa. I think nuclear is the best. There have been massive improvements to coal and natural gas, but nuclear energy is cheap and is more environmentally friendly than any other option. Really? When I hear nuclear, I think of hazardous waste and radiation. Yeah, and I don't want to grow a third eye, Uncle Will. The truth is, kids, nuclear creates massive amounts of energy with zero pollution, and all it requires is a small amount of uranium, a natural resource that is found all over the world. Will you please explain further? It takes dozens of wind and solar farms covering thousands of acres of land to match the energy produced from a single nuclear plant. That sounds very good. And nuclear energy is so dense and powerful that it only takes this much uranium to provide all the energy that a person will need in their entire life. Whoa, that's it? That's tiny. And the amount of waste is tiny too. America has been creating nuclear energy for almost 50 years and all of the waste so far, all of it, can safely be stored in an area the size of one football field. What about scary accidents at the power plants? Well, they're very rare and get less and less frequent as we improve safety technology. But it's also important to know that the world's biggest nuclear accidents haven't been nearly as scary as reported. About 10 years ago, a nuclear power plant in Japan was destroyed by an earthquake and tsunami, but all the damage to people and the environment was from the natural disaster, not nuclear radiation. And the biggest nuclear accident in US history happened over 40 years ago. No one was hurt, and the amount of radiation that leaked was equal to a chest x-ray. <laughs> Leo knows all about chest x-rays. Really, Leo? Did you have a bad illness? No, I swallowed a Lego. When you were a baby? No, like two months ago. <laughs> Let's change the subject. So, Uncle Will, is there any negative to nuclear energy? There really isn't. It's reliable all the time, it's cheap, and it's safe. 
but probably most importantly, it is by far the best energy option for our environment. With nuclear energy, Naya and her family would have all the electricity they ever need, and it would be the best way to preserve Africa's wildlands, open spaces, and natural beauty. And our birds will be safe. Thank you for your time, Mr. Will. I have learned so much and can't wait to share my new knowledge. I'm going to share what I've learned, too. I love the environment and want to do what's best for the planet. It isn't with solar and wind energy. Go nuclear! Well, until my village has electricity from any source, I have many evening chores I must do so my mom can make dinner tonight. I need to get back. Thanks a bunch, Uncle Will. Come on, Leo. Let's drop Naya off and go see if our mom needs our help for dinner. Bye, kids! Bye! If you are interested in time traveling again, please subscribe to PragerU.com slash kids and watch more of our adventures. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.